everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hi, my name is Aditi, and today I'm going to share with you guys a full face of first impressions. And this is the look which I came up with after trying all of these products, and I really liked most of the products. So if you're interested to know how I did this face, then please keep on watching. So I'm just out of the shower. I have not done my skincare, so I will also do my skincare. So first of all, I am going to take this Garnier Wrinkle Lift anti-aging cream this is how it looks uh, I actually got it because I have heard that it works wonderfully under makeup so that is the reason I got it and this is how the jar looks like and this is the product from the inside it smells a little like astringent but uh, I'm just going to take a little bit of that this much maybe I'm going to apply it on my face and neck So I have that applied on my face and my skin is tingling a little bit like yes it is I can feel the burn here and here so if you have sensitive skin then I think you can skip it because it might feel a little too burning on your skin but yeah it has moisturized my skin nicely without making it look greasy which is a good thing then i'm also going to apply some uh, lip balm and this is by kali naturals this is the wine grapefruit variant this is how it looks from the inside this is not my first impressions with this i have finished two three tubs of this already and i really like it so i'm just going to dig into it it is a really nice plumping lip balm so now I will just let it sit on my lips. So my lips are prepped for the lipsticks which I am going to apply later in this video. Then for my primer I have the Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio. This is how it looks. This is the redness control variant. And uh, yeah I have never used Maybelline primers before. So I'm really excited. So I'm just going to take this little quantity. I'm going to warm it up between my fingers and apply it on my problematic areas where I have large pores so the primer is applied my skin definitely feels really soft and smooth but I do not see it controlling my redness it has minimized my pores a bit but if your primary motive is to combat redness on your face then I don't think this will work for that purpose the moisturizer which I applied underneath is still tingling a bit like here on this area so that is really weird so next I have this Thwak bamboo sap illuminating cream this is how it looks it is actually a illuminating cream and I am really confused if I want to mix it with my foundation or I want to apply it just like that mm, what should I do I think I will just mix it with my foundation to look to make it look dewy but for my foundation i'm going to try the wet and wild photo focus foundation in the shade desert beige now this is not new to me i have already tried it uh, i have i do not have a new foundation to try on so that is why i'm using my oldie but goodie so yeah and i also have a new beauty blender to try and this is the wise she uh, tear cut precise beauty blender this is how it looks from the inside you also get a mini blender free and this is how the sponge looks like i have been waiting to try it for such a long time this is dry right now i'm just going to uh, dampen it and come right back so i'm back you guys and look how huge this looks and it feels very light and like really soft and uh, i mean it, it just feels like air and this is how the mini beauty blender looks like i'm really excited to bounce it on my face actually but you know what my skin is feeling really hot like it's burning as if <laughs> so anyways i am going to apply the foundation and then i will also stripe some twerk bamboo sap illuminating cream so i'm just taking oh my god that is a little too much so i have just taken uh, this much quantity of this and i'm going to stripe it across my face I just hope I do not look like a disco ball so yeah now I will just start blending it the reason why 
why I stopped using Beauty Blender for the longest time now is that they are such a pain to wash like they just pick up so much product but this one does not seem to pick up so like you see the coverage it's still bang on yeah so my foundation is blended it looks so natural and if you ask me about the illuminating cream then i definitely see some glow on my face like if i see very closely then i can see some shimmer particles but on my face it just looks like it has disappeared so yeah now it's time for our concealer and for my concealer i have the elec girl pro conceal concealer in the shade medium beige I think this concealer is like an exact match to my skin tone. I have never tried any girl pro conceal earlier. Uh, like I have, I like I have this, but I have it in a darker shade. So I just use it for contouring purposes. But I have heard really good stuff about this concealer, so I could not wait to try it. I'm actually going to try the mini blender to blend it in. This does not look highlighting at all but I don't mind it like like I'm okay without highlighting my face. The concealer really blends into my skin very easily and the coverage is also really really nice. My skin is looking flawless. And next we will do my eyes so for that I'm going to take this Revolution Flawless 4 eyeshadow palette. This is how it looks. The palette is gorgeous. Uh, it also comes with a shade name and this is how the palette looks like they are so me like I love these tones so I just struck some scotch tape and we are very up close and personal so that you can see the eye makeup really clearly I am going to pick this color from right here just dusting off the excess I'm just going to blend it really nicely and diffuse it And then I'm going to take a more precise brush and I am going to dig into this color from right here. The colors are really pigmented and quite easy to blend. And then finally I'm going to take this color from right here and I am going to apply it again right here and just deepen the color I am actually going to take this orange color just a teeniest bit on my brush and just took the excess and blend everything and I'm just going to apply some light pink here so I'm again going to take my concealer So now I'm just going to take this color from right here, this one, this is a um, you know very angelic baby pink sort of color uh, and I'm going to apply it with the help of my fingers. The color payoff of shimmers are also really really good. Now I want to add a little bit more depth to my eyes so I'm going to take this dark brown color from right here and I'm just going to apply it on my outer V like here just here. So now I'm going to take this Hilary Roda long lasting eyeliner in the shade 11 this is a baby pink color again and i'm going to apply it on my lids
this is so gorgeous you guys but still i'm not feeling the vibes i'm not done yet i am also going to use a golden shimmer eyeliner again by hillary roda this is number six yeah this is number six and i'm just going to apply it on the centers of my lips here Now it's time to do our eyebrows and for that I'm going to take the Sivana Colors eyebrow powder. This is how it looks. This is how it looks from the inside. It also comes with a brush which has a angled brush on one side and uh, has a sponge tip applicator on the other. I'm just going to mix both of these colors. But the powder is really amazing. Do you see my eyebrows? It looks so natural and yet so gorgeous. Uh, the end of this is a little too thick so I am going to take my normal angled brush and I am going to just perfect my tail a bit. I really like this eyebrow powder like it's so good like it was really unexpected. I'm also going to set my eyebrows with the Miss Clear Color Lash Transparent Mascara. This is not new to me but you know I just really like to set my eyebrows in place. So here it goes. Now I have not set the rest of my face so I'm just quickly going to do that. And to set my face I'm going to take the Well and Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This is how it looks. This is in the Variant Caramel Toffee. And I'm going to take this banana shade from right here. Oh, it's so brightening, you guys. And quite mattifying too. I'm just going to set the whole of my face. And then I'm also going to bronze up my face using this. The bronzer is neither too warm, neither too cool toned. It's just perfect. I really, really liked using this. It's it's just so good and coming back to the eyes i'm going to take this shade from right here and i'm going to apply it on my inner corners and i'm also going to apply it just below the arc of my brows and for my lower lash line i'm going to take this shade from right here And now I'm just going to take this Jovi's new signature Kajal. Uh, I'm going to apply it on my lash line. It feels really hard right now so I'm just going to you know warm it on the back of my hand. I'm also going to tight line with this. So I have that applied because it was new so it was poking my eyes a bit but the pigmentation of this is really nice I'm just going to you know smudge it a bit now I also have a new eyeliner and that is the Lacme Absolute Shine Line eyeliner this is the black one and I'm going to draw a winged eyeliner with this the tip of this is so so precise and this is how black it is like this one the second one this eyeliner is not new to me I have already used it in past and I really like this and that is why it is my repurchases the reasons why I really like this eyeliner is because it is pigmented it is matte and it just stays in place it is waterproof 
but that is done now it's time for blush and I have this flower beauty blush uh, this is flower pots powder blush in the shade peach primrose this is how the blush looks like the pattern is so so beautiful I do not even want to use it but we are going to use it so I'm just going to dip into it I really like the pigmentation it is not too pigmented and it is so warm like if you know me then I really really love warm bronzers, warm blushes like I just love warm colors on my face and the blendability was also really really amazing like you see it just blended into the skin so quickly and then it's time for some mascara and I have this Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. This is the washable variant. Uh, again, it's not something new. I have already tried it but I'm just going to, you know, slightly coat my eyelashes with this because I'm going to go with falsies. And then I have the Vice She Mink Eyelashes in the style Millie. And I also have a new eyelash glue which is... The Miss Clear Eyelash Glue, this is how it looks, so I'm going to use it. This is how the eyelashes looks like, by the way, they are so messy and they are a bit long, so I do not know if it will suit my eyes or not, but we will see. This is how the wand of the eyelash, eyelash glue looks like. Um, I'm just going to apply it very thinly on my eyelashes. I'm going to wait for a few seconds so that it gets tacky and then I will apply it. These eyelashes look so beautiful. Well, they are just a little too long for my preference but oh my god, they are so gorgeous you guys so this is how the eyelashes looks on me it is giving me full bridal vibes so for my highlighter i have the maybelline master chrom highlighter in the shade molten gold oh my god this has been so much raved about and i really wanted to try it for such a long time and just look at the pattern okay i'm just going to you know swatch it here do you see how blinding that is? Oh my god, oh my god. I'm excited. I have just picked a little bit of it, just about the excess. And oh my goodness, this is so blinding. Oh my god, I just cannot take my eyes off the highlighter. It's so beautiful, you guys. Because for my lipstick, I have a lot of new options. I have two lipsticks from Spectra Cosmetics. Um, the shades are Spicy Mommy and Alpha. Then I have the Wet n Wild Catsuit Liquid Lipstick in the shade Gimme Mocha. Then I also have the Lacme Absolute Matte Milk Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pink Poison. Yeah, Pink Poison. Uh, but I think with this look, I want to use Give Me Mocha. I really want to use this because I have heard so much good things about this and now that I finally have it, so I really want to try it. So I just, I just cannot wait to, you know, apply it on my lips. So... This color is so beautiful. Applicator is so beautiful it just hugs your lips and oh my god the color is so so gorgeous it is a brown with a hint of pink and peach in it it's matte and it's comfortable like that is what I feel okay so now let's just talk about all of the products which I used one by one 
so the first one was this Garnier Wrinkle Lift Anti-Aging Cream this is how it looks uh, I don't know I have heard really good things about it but it was burning on my face but it has definitely moisturized my skin and you know it just made my skin look very glowy the second product was the Maybelline Master Prime Primer I really like this primer it did minimize my pores and made my skin look super smooth but it definitely did not control any redness on my face then I used this Thwak Bamboo Sap Illuminating Cream. I did not see it doing a lot for my skin so I think you can give it a pass. But if you want something which will give your skin that candlelit glow with a little bit of shimmer but is not as heavy as shimmer oils then you can definitely go for this. Then I tried the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. This is an exact match to my skin tone but I really like the coverage of this and the blendability. And then I tried the eyeshadow palette by Revolution. This was so good. The blendability is so good. The color payoff is so good. The variety of colors is so good. I really really like this palette. Yeah, so definitely recommending it. Then I tried the Well and Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This one, I really like the bronzer. I really like the banana powder. It is really brightening. The bronzer is also the perfect bronzer. It is neither too warm, neither too cool. And I just I just really like it plus the pan is so huge you can use it for a good amount of time and then I use the flower beauty flower pot in the shade peach primrose this is a really nice warm peachy color blusher and it just it just looks so good on me it's definitely something which I will wear on a daily basis then I tried the Maybelline master chrome metallic highlighter in the shade molten gold and now I get it why it is so much hype up. It is just so blinding and you know so metallic. It it just looks so good. The color is just perfect for me. It is a gold. So it might not suit very fair skin tone but if you are medium to dark skin tone then. Then I also tried the Sivana Colors eyebrow powder. It was so quick and it made my eyebrows look so natural like I really really like this. Again if you are someone who are more into powders then definitely check this one out then about the eyelashes which I used which is the Wise She Millie eyelashes I really like the eyelashes they feel really lightweight it's, it's just that it is a little too long for my eyes but these are really good especially if you do not have a hooded eyes this will it just look so gorgeous on you then I tried the Miss Claire eyelash glue it is so good I really like the fact that it has a brush applicator which makes which makes things so much more easier then I also tried the Wise She Beauty Blender and it's just so soft and squishy it just blended my makeup seamlessly and it also did not pick a lot of product which was amazing and then I also use the Hilary Roda Glitter Eyeliner. This is how they look. They do not have chunky glitters but I mean just look at it. It just looks so beautiful. It just has that spotlight glow to it. I really like it. I will definitely be buying more colors from this range. Then about the Wet n Wild Katsuit Liquid Lipstick in the shade Give Me Mocha. It's such a gorgeous color. Like it's that sort of color which you can wear on a daily basis and will look so good. I really like the formula of this. It is not drying out my lips even a single bit. So yeah, that was it for me today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching it and this video was helpful for you guys. I will leave all the purchase link in my description box below. So if you want, you can check it out. And now I will see you soon in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye.